So what is your personal selection list when picking out something like a Mustang? For something like this project, um, you want something that is, or I would imagine you would want something that is, you know, obviously aware of its surroundings, not completely oblivious and just dulled out to its surroundings, but not something that's reacting to every single little thing that's going on. Because, you know, it'd be, reactive horses are fun and all because you can turn them responsive, but... Not in a hundred days. But not in a hundred days. That'd be rough. You, you want something that spends a little more time thinking and processing what's going on around it than reacting to it. So we made it to Pikeville, Tennessee and the TIP facility. This is some of the footage from the very first day when we get to actually lay eyes on the Mustangs. And they're about to run the second pen in. So there's about 30 horses for us to choose from. Um, some nicer than others, some very kind of crazy, some with different confirmation issues that I really don't want to deal with. Um, and we did end up finding a horse that we liked. It took a bit, and actually we overlooked her a few times, um, but then we noticed that there was this one horse who was really, really attentive to everything that was going on around her, um, and actually really wanting to engage with people. So we did a little bit of an experiment. I caught the tail end of it on camera um, with Miriam walking around the pen, and I'll show you in a second, but we found my first pick horse, and. Hopefully no one else spotted her because I think she's really well built. She's a big girl and she's really cool. So Miriam's gonna walk around the pen now and we're gonna watch the way the horse reacts. Oh, she's the first one to move. She's curious, look at that. That's really great. one. Some of the other horses. This big bay. She's thinking through everything and not just reacting to the blue. That little bay is nice, very reactive, but she's very reactive. And I think it's not a horse that we could possibly have to work with, obviously, but you're gonna end up putting more time into that. And it's not a hundred day horse. This right here. She's got smart eyes. This right here is your hundred day horse. So I'm out here, just pulled up. It's like 4.30, I think, in the morning. Um, yeah, 440. And uh, if you didn't know, with a Mustang makeover this year, you don't get assigned a horse. Um, it is not a random draw because of COVID. They changed up some restrictions. Um, and basically, I decided to use this here tip facility in Tennessee to pick up my Mustang. And it is first come, first serve. They put a list out on that table in the barn at some point in the night. I have no idea what time. Um, and they basically said, we just put it out crazy early, and if you get here first, you put your name on the list, and that is the order in which you pick horses come 7 a.m. Like I said, it's like 4.40. Um, and I am number seven on that list, so there's no telling what time that list went out. Uh, it might even have gone out last night. I have no idea. Um, I'm tired. Miriam's asleep, but at least that means one of us is going to be good for the drive later. And on the bright side, because that list is here, I don't have to sit in the parking lot until 6 or 7 waiting for it. It does mean that I should probably go back and uh, pick out at least 7 horses. Um, because if my top pick is taken, which with 7 people ahead of me, it's pretty possible that it will be. Um, if my top pick is taken, then I need to figure out what other horses I'm okay bringing home. But yeah, if, um, basically... There's a, a pretty good chance she won't make it, but I really want that, that big chestnut mare with the flax and mane. Um, I think there's going to be a really nice horse under all of that body fat. Um, and the good news is she's very curious and very well fed. Wouldn't be surprised if she's been in holding for a little while. And even if not, it's just impressive and a personality for a Mustang. So that's what we're working on. I'm going to drive back and probably will not be able to sleep, but who cares at this point? Um, here we are.
Wow. Save. That nose piece can open bigger. Oh, you got it. The nylon help is going to be a little tricky sometimes. Yeah. stiff enough to stay open. What a good girl. Does she curve the New Jersey makeover? She's going to be a nice horse? All right, I think so. Nice job. All right. Oh, she found the hay. First thing she did, she found the hay. So Miriam, what are some good Mustang names? Well, I personally think a name like Chalupa Supreme would be great. Um, French wrap would be basically anything off the Taco Bell menu would be a good name. You can name it like Queso Dreams, like Chase Your Dreams. Queso <laughs> like Dreams. Queso Dreams. <laughs> Here comes Roxy on Queso, Queso Dreams. <laughs> we are pulling up the driveway to the barn at sunset with a very tired horse. Two days, 900 miles an ungodly amount of flavor blasted goldfish. This thing was full when we started. And the last bit of patience both of us can manage. So many regrets, so many, so many goldfish. 